the stalemate between the House, the Senate, and the White House over payroll taxes. Joining us from Washington is Grover Norquist, President of Americans for Tax Reform. Thanks for joining us, sir. Good to be with you. Payroll tax stalemate between House Republicans and Senate Democrats. Now, the Wall Street Journal accuses the House GOP leadership of thoroughly botching the issue. Karl Rove agrees and advises them to fold their cards. What do you say to all that? Well, let's see. The Republicans in the House of Representatives have actually passed a one-year extension of the FICA tax. And um, attached to it, uh, building the pipeline up in Nebraska uh, and extending the uh, faster depreciation expensing for business investment. The Senate uh, tried to put a massive tax increase, a permanent tax increase, on the FICA tax one-year tax holiday. Uh, that was stopped. Uh, they couldn't really agree on how to cut spending to pay for the $100 billion lower tax uh, bill for the uh, uh, FICA tax uh, one-year holiday. Uh, and as a result, they've turned around and tried to kick the can down the road two months uh, I think it's a strictly political move so that Obama can go up at the State of the Union and say, ah, I told you those Republicans didn't want to extend the FICA tax. The House, run by Republicans, has passed into law a one-year extension of the FICA tax holiday. The Democrats in the Senate have not. The nerve of the President and Harry Reid to suggest that the, or the silliness of the Wall Street Journal, for them to misunderstand what's happening, the Republicans in the House have passed the extension. The Democrats in the Senate have not. Uh, and they've come up with something which is a two-year, a two-month, two-month delay in making a decision so that the president can give snotty speeches. Well, even as we speak virtually today as we're recording this, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell is urging John Boehner, the speaker, to pull back his horns on that 12 months and go along with the two-month compromise passed by the Senate. What do you think of that? Well, Mitch McConnell is also asking Harry Reid to appoint conferees uh, to the conference so that the House and Senate can sit down and walk through this. Um, I think that that's important. I wish that Mitch McConnell would spend as much time recommending conferees as that he does telling the Republicans to accept the Senate bill. You know, this my way or the highway, you have to do what I want or you're not doing anything, I think is the wrong approach. Um, on the other hand, I mean, we have a real challenge here. The President of the United States wants to raise taxes. He doesn't want to cut spending. What the Republicans in the House did was they had a significant spending cut uh, to, quote unquote, pay for the $100 billion one-time tax uh, reduction. Uh, I doubt the Senate is going to do that unless they're pressured to, and that's why they want to wait two months and, and try and get out from under the pressure. Now, Rove does have one interesting strategy. He says the best thing for House Republicans to do now is to pass the Senate's two-month extension and then make the case that Democrat obstructionism is the reason there is not a full-year extension agreement. Does that make sense? Uh, you can. Uh, the challenge is that you play a little bit into the left's narrative. Uh, and. Uh, I think the President of the United States wants to talk about everything other than his overspending and his tax increase plans. I think we should force him to speak about those issues now. Do you think Senate Democrats are serious about extending the payroll tax cuts since they, were only, uh, they only would do two months as opposed to a full year, which is what Obama supposedly wanted, a full year? Neither Ob President Obama or Harry Reid and the Democrats in the Senate care one whit about extending the one-year uh, tax holiday for FICA taxes. They hoped to say, we're for cutting taxes on low-income people and we want to raise taxes on high-income people. Uh, and once they were told that the votes were not there to raise taxes on small businesses and, uh, and higher-income people, uh, they lost all interest in the whole thing. They were trying to promote class hatred and, and division uh, based on how much money people earn. If they can't have that, then they're, they're not interested. What about the critics who say reducing the payroll tax is stealing money from Social Security? Do they have a point there? Uh, yes, it is money that was promised to pay Social Security benefits, which is why it, I think it's a good idea to cut spending somewhere else so that Social Security commitments can be made without going further into debt. Um, the Democrats have done a lot to separate Social Security from the benefits from, from what you pay in. 
Uh, Republicans historically have wanted to make the case that we should link those two so that people could manage their own retirement portfolios in the future. Some Republicans are worried that the payroll tax holiday could hurt their chances of winning back the Senate next year. Is that a legitimate concern considering 23 members of the Democrat caucus are up for re-election? Well, I think the Democrats are worried that they'll likely lose the Senate. There are 23 Democrats, as you say, up for re-election, only 10 Republicans, half of the Democrats are in uh, more conservative states. I think there's every reason to believe the Republicans could get as many as 10 uh, Senate seats in the next election. Uh, clearly, Obama is going to want to try and confuse people prior to the next election. Uh, President Obama cannot run an election with the slogan, four more years. He cannot run with the slogan, it's morning in America. Uh, he cannot run asking the question, are you better off today than you were four years ago? Um, all of the things that successful presidents say to get themselves reelected, none of them ring true or well for Obama. So he's going to have to campaign on hate and division and attacking other people. And moving on to another issue, you met with Texas Governor Rick Perry this week. Your impressions, please. Uh, I've known Rick Perry for many years. He's one of the strongest governors that we've ever had uh, in the United States. He's kept spending down, taxes down. He did transparency in the state. We took an idea that he had of making all checks and expenditures visible online for taxpayers to look at and took it to about 25 other states which passed similar laws based on Rick Perry's uh, successes in Texas. So I'm, I'm a big fan of his successes there. He did a very good job uh, with his tax reform proposal, uh, which is the most radical and exciting of all the plans that have been uh, floated to date. 20% flat tax, uh, getting rid of the death tax, getting rid of capital gains, uh, keeping corporate taxes down as well. It's, it's, a, it's a great plan. About a month ago, you said on Meet the Press that both Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich are tax reformers and either could get your endorsement. Now, has anything changed since that and who right now is on track to pick up your endorsement? Well, I don't expect to endorse prior to uh, the Republican nomination being settled. And the reason for that is all of the Republicans running for president have signed the Taxpayer Protection Pledge, which is what we ask all candidates to commit in writing to voters, not to us, but to voters, that they'll oppose and veto any tax increase. Uh, Mitt Romney signed it early in his campaign. Speaker Gingrich always signed it when he was a congressman and has signed it as a presidential candidate up in New Hampshire. Uh, Rick Perry has signed it as a gubernatorial candidate as well as a candidate up in New Hampshire. So uh, absolutely, all three have made a commitment never to raise taxes, as have all the others except Huntsman. Um, and some of them have very exciting uh, tax reform proposals, uh, all of them moving in the right direction. Grover Norquist, Americans for Tax Reform. As always, sir, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching Newsmax TV.